Hello from Mexico and welcome back to our channel. So today I'm doing a day in our life vlog. It is a weekday, but this is like a nesting edition. So in two days, I am scheduled to be induced to have uh, baby boy number three come into the world. So you guys will see this after baby boy gets here, which will give us a little bit of a grace period so that baby boy and I can recover and come home and kind of get settled um, before we are in full vlog mode again. So if you like what you're watching, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe, but let's go get some last minute items done before this baby comes into the world. So I wanted to give you guys an idea of things that I've done so far and things that I have yet to do, which will be on my next vlog. So let me show you what I've gotten ready for baby boy number three. Okay. One of my biggest issues was not having like storage in this house. And so what I've done is spent time getting like our blankets and sheets and pillowcases all put together on shelves. We've got diapers. I have a lot of stuff here. Um, so I'm actually... This is probably the my favorite thing that I've done while nesting is just getting all of this put together and organized so that I don't have to worry about it post-birth. <laughs> Another thing that I've done and that I'm taking you guys with me to complete today is I put together a basket of things for the hospital staff, particularly the nurses that will be taking care of us. I put a lot of self-care items in here, cookies, candy, and I'm also picking up some instant cappuccinos to take. And this will just be for anybody on the hospital staff that wants to take some goodies and to give them a little extra thank you for all of their hard work for taking care of um, baby and I. Okay, another thing I've been focused on doing is getting laundry done. So I have laundry upstairs and downstairs. Fidel has been focused on getting um, the yard cleaned up and I also have some help today from one of my comadres and my sister-in-law who are just here trying to help me get any last minute items taken care of. Another thing that we're doing today is getting some maternity um, photos of me. So that will be Diego. Diego's gonna take some maternity pics today. We haven't done it because there's been a lot going on. If you guys saw my dad passed away, um, just a lot of stuff in his last in my third trimester. And so I haven't really got to do it. So we're going to do it today and get it done and over with before this baby comes out. We're also taking some family pictures today, which will be our last family pictures before baby boy is here. And then we'll take some brand new ones as soon as he, um, as soon as we're able to with, with the new baby. Okay. I have the basket of stuff. I also have all this stuff going to the, um, storage at my house site. So I went through Dominic's clothes and toys. Well, Dominic helped me go through his toys, but we went through his clothes and toys. We took out the stuff that he wants to save for his baby brother. We gave away a couple bags and um, we're going to put a couple things in storage along with our nacimiento. And then his clothes that are too small are also going into storage for baby brother. And now I'm at the kindergarten so that I can pick him up and then we'll head out and go over to the house site. Buenas tardes. Good day. You're so hot. Yeah. House, we have to go to the house site really fast, okay? Mom. Give me just a minute so I can. Oh my goodness, you painted your whole hand. We are making a... handprints? Yeah. Cool. How fun. Put a number here. You got a number. Okay, let me talk to your maestra really fast, okay? At the house site, I'm going to take you guys up and just show you what they're doing. I already got all the stuff into storage. I don't show that, obviously, for privacy. But um, I'm gonna take you up and show you what's going on on the second floor. Also, here's Fidel. They're all working today. Yeah. What's that bracelet right here? Oh, it's my necklace. You and Diego got it for me for Christmas. 
Okay guys, they're working on the details for the final piece of the roof, which is just this slant right here. Um, these are the windows that we put in for extra lighting on our second floor. So that's what the guys are building up right now. Then they'll get all of this stuff filled with concrete and then they'll start placing the bovedilla so that we can do our final colado. So here's Diego's bedroom with the roof, the forms and stabilizers are still up. So I don't know when they take those down. I think probably in another week or so. We also have the hallway. And then take you back into storage. There's the storage room. All complete. Cuando quitan esta formas, Fidel? Una semana más. Okay, I was right. One more week. Uh huh. Para que todo se quede bien. Para que todo 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 quede yeah, see, it just has to completely dry before we take it all off. I picked Diego up. Nice. Dominic wanted to stay with his tias, um, who are currently at the house helping me get some other stuff finished. So Dominic stayed with his tias. Diego's going with me to town so that we can handle this basket and grab the little cappuccinos. And then I have to come back because I have a meeting with my YouTube partner or my YouTube channel manager. So <laughs> we're going to make this a quick trip. All right, let's put together this gift basket. Okay, now we're getting the cappuccino, the instant cappuccino things. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Necesita 15 pesos de queso para mamelas. Sí, por favor. Okay, I think we're gonna go with these ones because they have 20 vasos as opposed to these ones, which only have 12. So I think we'll go with the, uh, and I, Diego said they have different flavors in the other one. So that'll be nice too. All right, we have our basket all put together. They did an amazing job. Thank you, Diego, for that. And the cappuccino, disregard the cheese, that's for my cuñada. Mm. <laughs> but she asked me to pick up cheese for her. So yeah, now we're going to head home. Okay, we're here at the house site, which is where we're going to take the pictures. It does look like it's going to start raining, and Fidel got delayed trying to get some materials. So we're hoping that he makes it back before it starts raining, but it is also pretty windy. Um, so we may have to postpone this until tomorrow, which is a little nerve-wracking for me. But well, it'll be okay. If we have to postpone until tomorrow, we have to postpone until tomorrow. It's not a big deal, but I'll keep you guys updated. Um, regardless, we still have a Rosario to go to tonight. So we have a couple other things to show you guys before we wrap up this vlog. In a different outfit, <laughs> changed out of the clothes that we're gonna use for the um, photo shoots tomorrow. So we didn't get to do it today. Um, Fidel was too delayed by the, um, by the materials and that we did get a little bit of rain, but now it's cleared up. It's gonna get dark soon. So we're gonna do it tomorrow, which is fine. Um, I'll have another vlog that I'll be filming tomorrow, which will be the last day before baby boy gets here. But right now we're going to take you guys with us to Ruby's house where she's having a Rosario for the Virgincita. So we're going to go to that. I know. All right, we're here. Oh my Come on.
Yo me abandono sin reserva a tus operaciones divinas y quiero ser siempre dócil a tus inspiraciones. Espíritu Santo, transforma mi forma y mi vida en mi vida. En Cristo Jesús, para la gloria del Padre. Que madre de Dios, gloria al Señor con nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve María. Muy bien, Jolo. Muy bien, María. Muy bien, María. Muy bien, María. They're also making garnachas with very spicy salsa. La salsa es muy picosa. Sí, es picosa. Sí, sí, ¿verdad? No solo yo, chala. Okay, so they fry the tortilla, they put salsa on it, and then they put um, mashed potatoes, lettuce, and queso on it. Oh, and also agua de Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Here's what they look like. Dominic's is without salsa. Right? Sin chile. We're back home. We got home a little bit later than I expected to get back home. Um, but it was nice to get out of the, the house. It's been, um, it's been a hard week, if you guys have seen kind of what's going on. Um, I do want to take a second to say thank you to all of you who have commented and shared your stories, even though they break my heart to know that so many of you have gone through losing, you know, a parent, it's definitely not an easy thing. Um, it's been hard. It's hitting me in waves. It's been hard to kind of navigate this space between, you know, grieving my dad and trying to be excited about this baby and feel that joy. So it's been, um, it's been hard. I don't think there's any other words for it besides it's just, it's been hard. Um, and I'm very tired, <laughs> very tired, but trying to just, I try to think about what <clears throat> my dad would say and he would say, you have to keep moving forward. So that's what I'm doing. But, um, like I said, it's hitting in waves. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. Very, very excited to bring baby boy home. Um, feels a little surreal. Uh, it felt like this pregnancy was going really slow and now all of a sudden it's very, very fast. But we're excited. So as always, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And we will see you guys on the next vlog. Bye guys.